The fundamental contrast between pornography and art, viewed from a philosophical perspective, revolves around their intentions and the experiences they offer their audience. Think of art as a way to connect with the human experience, stirring up thoughts, emotions, and ideas that go beyond what's on the surface. Art challenges the rules of society, tackles complex subjects, and invites us to think deeply. It's like a conversation between the artwork and the viewer, aiming to make a strong connection. When we appreciate art, we often take time to ponder, engage our minds, and consider its deeper meanings. On the flip side, pornography mainly aims to arouse sexual desire. It's like a shortcut to satisfying our immediate sensual wants. While there are different kinds of pornography in terms of quality, looks, and storytelling, the main focus is to trigger sexual feelings. Consuming pornography tends to be a swift and intense experience, driven by basic desires, without much room for intellectual reflection or emotional involvement. Now, let's look at the big picture from a philosophical angle. The main difference lies in why these things are created and how they're experienced. Art aims to rise above the present moment, forging a connection between the work and the viewer's thoughts and feelings. It sparks contemplation, prompts interpretation, and strikes a personal chord. Pornography, however, usually zeroes in on immediately satisfying sexual cravings, often lacking the depth and range of feelings that art hopes to trigger. Now, let's shift our focus to the way people interact with these things. When someone looks at pornography, the interaction is often about getting something right away. Pornography treats sexuality like a product to be bought and consumed. People engage with it to fulfill their desires for sexual excitement, and this interaction is typically quick and detached. It's about getting sexual tension out of the way without much emotional or thoughtful involvement. On the other side, when someone experiences sexual themes in art, things get more intricate. Art doesn't just stop at the physical and sexual aspects, it digs deeper into our emotions, thoughts, and even spirituality. Art invites us to look at it from different angles, how it looks, how it makes us feel, what it makes us think about, and even what it means in a bigger context. The sexual content in art might be like a symbol or a tool to explore bigger topics like human relationships, power dynamics, and society's rules. It encourages us to reflect on the artist's intentions, the story behind the artwork, and what it all means to us personally. It's not just about the visuals, it's about the feelings and ideas they stir up in us. In art, sexuality becomes a way to talk about the complexity of being human. It sparks discussions about who we are, what we desire, how we connect, and what we value. Engaging with art means thinking, looking within ourselves, and considering the many layers of meaning in the work. When it comes to a pornographic film, the people acting are like performers following a script meant to make the audience feel sexually excited. They focus on their appearance and actions to create a sexual experience. It's like they're following a set plan to make us feel a certain way. But when we watch sexual content in art, it's a whole different story. The art often goes beyond the physical and sexual elements. It invites us to feel things in multiple ways, through how it looks, how it makes us feel emotionally, and how it makes us think. The sexual content in art might not be just about the physical act, it could represent bigger ideas like vulnerability, desire, or even power struggles. Art wants us to think about why the artist chose to include these elements and what they're trying to say. To sum it up, the main philosophical difference lies in how we engage with these things and how we see the people involved. In pornography, the actors might be seen as objects used for our sexual satisfaction. In art, they're often portrayed as complex individuals embodying various feelings and ideas. So, remember, art and pornography are more than just visuals. They're about what they make us think, feel, and understand about ourselves and the world around us.